In order to graph an equation of a line like this, you'll always start with the number at the end here, and that's called the y-intercept, and that's where you cross the line that goes up and down perfectly. So notice this line crosses right at positive 1, so that does have a y-intercept of plus 1. For b, that also does the same thing, so that's good. But same with c and d, so they all have 1 as a y-intercept. Next, you're going to look at the number in front of x here, and that's called the slope. But a slope could be positive or negative. Just imagine you're driving from left to right. In this case, you go uphill, that's a positive slope, and then downhill, a negative slope. But notice we have a positive two-thirds, so we want the line to do this. A, that does have a positive slope, and same with B. But then C and D, we're driving downhill. Those are negative slopes, so those are no good. Another way to say slope is rise over run. And that just means you're going to go up 2 over 3 on the grid. So you want to start at a point that you know. And then where does the line cross the grid perfectly? Well, as we go along, it crosses perfectly right here at a bullseye. So that's where we want to get to. The question is, how do we go from this point to this point? Well, we're going to go up or down first, and in this case, we're just going to go up 1, so let's add that. But of course, we're going to go to the right, 1, 2, 3, so let's add that. So we have a slope of 1 over 3, rise over run. But of course, we wanted to have 2 thirds, so we know it's going to be B, but let's just double check. Okay, we're going to go from this point to where we cross perfectly, so right at that point there. Let's do it. We go up 1, 2. We'll add that in. Then we're going to go to the right 1, 2, 3 as well. So let's add that. That one has a rise over run of 2 thirds, and that's what we wanted. So not too bad at all once you know this two-step process here. Find the y-intercept, find the slope, and then you'll be good. Okay, let's practice with another one. You know what to do. Let's start with our y-intercept here at negative 2. So A, that one does have negative 2, let's highlight that. B, positive 2, C, negative, and D, positive. So it could be either A or C, we'll get rid of the other two. Next, we have a 3 for the slope. Now what's the deal? Well, if it's not a fraction, we want to turn it into a fraction. You can always divide a number by 1 to keep it the same. So 3, same thing as 3 divided by 1. Or, rise over run is going to do that. Well, let's check out A here. We go from this point to where we cross perfectly right at that point. Okay, going up, we're going to go 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to go to the right just 1. And that'll do it. We got 3 over 1. Same thing as 3 for the slope. So A, that's our correct answer. Okay, now what if you have a negative slope? Okay, y-intercept a positive 3, let's do it. A, that one has a negative 3, that's no good. B, negative 3, no good. But C or D, those could both be correct here. Okay, next we have a negative 1 half slope, let's highlight that. But when you have a negative slope, you could always just make the top number negative. And you'll leave the bottom a positive. So therefore, we're going to end up going down 1 and over 2. Let's check it out. So for C, we're going to go from this point right to that point. We do go down 1, then over 2. Let's add that. But that does go down 1 over 2. Stack them in that order, and that's perfect. So C is our correct answer. But let's practice with D. That's going to go from this point right to that point there. And that's going to go down 1, 2, over 1. Let's add that in here. And if we stack these negative 2 over 1, that's the same thing as a negative 2 slope. So final answer, C. And just one final style. What if you don't have a number in front of x? Now let's do our y-intercept first. We know it's negative 1. It could be a. b is at 0, that's out. c, positive 1, that's out. And d, negative 1. So we'll get rid of those two there. Okay, but notice we have a negative in front of x. 
Now, if you don't have a number, it's actually one. So the slope is negative one here. But just like we did before, when you want to make it a fraction, just divide it by a positive one. And there we go. Negative one over positive one, that's what we're after. However, notice with a, that's actually a positive slope. That's no good. It has to be d, because that's the only negative slope. But just for practice, we'll double check. We're going to go from here to here. That's going to go up one over one. But one over one, that's just a positive one slope. That's no good. But d, on the other hand, that does go down one over one. So we do get the negative in the mix. That's going to give us our negative one slope. So that's it there. Here's a video on slope if you want some more practice with those. And here's a video on equations of lines that you could do with the calculator. Let me know what questions you have, what else you want me to cover. Good luck, you got these. We'll see you in the next video. Toodles.